Hi, I'm Mona, and if you're here, you found Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot. This is a reading for Pisces for the second half of January 2021. I would like to say, please do not live your life by the tarot. It is you who creates your own destiny. You are intelligent, beautiful or handsome, and you are kind. These readings may or may not resonate. Please subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. Someone may be enlightened by them. Also, to my subscribers, welcome back. And to any new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so glad you're here. You are the backbone to this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. So yes, this is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and the North Node for the second half of January 2021. These are the cards I'm using. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so these cards have been pre-shuffled, right? We're going to get the general energy for Pisces for the second half of January 2021. Remember, just take what resonates for the rest. Don't manifest any weird stuff into your life, okay? This is a general energy, general reading. Pisces for the second half of January 2021. General energy is. Ooh, justice, nice. So you could be dealing with a Libra, but I do see there's going to be justice here on your part coming on in right something may have happened maybe you went through some sort of court battle legal battle you're gonna have some justice there i don't know we'll see what do we have here for pisces for the second half of january 2021 for pisces pisces sun moon rising venus and the north node what do we have for pisces for the second half of january 2021 Ooh. eight of wands Ace of Cups, Three of Pentacles. What else do we have for Pisces for the second half of January 2021, please? For Pisces, Pisces, second half of January 2021. See what all this is, okay? <clears throat> all right, front and center card is the Three of Wands. You're waiting for something, okay? So starting out here, you are trying to create some sort of stability, right? You're moving quickly. Somebody's moving quickly here, either you or another person, right? Moving quickly to create some sort of stability, right? And love, right? You just, you don't want just stability. You want love too, okay? So this is a new start for you, something new, right? You want to work on something with somebody. You want to collaborate with them, right? Maybe you want to talk things over fix things all right yeah with a lover you totally want to fix something with somebody that you love okay and uh, I do see justice coming in for this for you okay thing is is you need to make a choice okay all right so you want to create stability and you want love right so these are the two choices you have you have a choice for either stability or love. You can have both, but for some reason, you're needing to make a choice over the two, which is kind of, that's kind of trippy, right? Maybe you're waiting for something. Maybe you are waiting for the stability to come in towards you so you can start something new in love, right? Yes, that's what it is. So you're making the choice to wait. You're making the choice to wait before you actually go and collaborate with this person, right? You are ready, though. You're ready for a new adventure with this lover. Wow. This is nice. This is nice for you, okay? So, and I do see, you know, you're going to get justice in this or you're dealing with a, you know, you could, we, let me see what signs we have here. Ones that pop out, we got Gemini, we got Libra, um, we got um, Cancer. No, we got, I'm sorry, we got Gemini. That was Gemini, not Cancer. My bad, my bad, my bad. Um, we do have uh, Sagittarius. Gemini. Yeah, we got a lot of Gemini here. So somebody might be a Gemini, all right? What else do we have here? We have Leo. We also have Leo here, okay? We also have Leo, my bad. Wait, uh, no, we have Aries. We have Aries, all right? All right, so what else do we have here? Okay, what is this? Ace of Wands. 
dang, you want a new start. You want a new start. You want it in love. You want passion, right? With this lover. Wow. It's a love reading? <laughs> this is supposed to be general, right? Knight of Cups coming in with that love to work out something with someone. Very nice. Very beautiful. So maybe you have been on the rocks. Uh-oh. Got the Seven of Swords here. Okay. Somebody may be holding you back. You're waiting for something to happen. Somebody's holding you back on purpose. That's what I see here. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Somebody has been through battle, but I feel like they're not done yet. You could be dealing with a Leo. All right, trying to have the strength to do something because you're mourning the loss over a relationship. Somebody is. Somebody is sad that the relationship is ending, but there's a new beginning and it's going to be with a queen of pentacles. Somebody's got some dough, right? Uh, it could be a divorced woman, a divorcee or something like that. I don't know. Um, but you are leaving a toxic situation and going towards something that's not toxic with somebody who's single, right? You have a single lady in your environment somehow, somewhere. Uh, this person is very balanced. Uh, you know, you might be in this emperor status. You could have a uh, Taurus or Aries in your chart. Or the person that you're going towards could have that in their chart. And they could be the emperor. <clears throat> flighty energy, though. Flighty energy. Not showing too much. Okay, yeah, no. This situation, I'm telling you, it's going to lead to some sort of three-party situation, whatever, whatnot, right? Be and that's what the deception is here. <clears throat> it's going to lead to a three-party situation. Um, people are not on the same page. So whatever is happening here, this is very nice, right? But the deception is that somebody is maybe making you wait for something because of uh, some sort of collaboration and love or whatever. It's deception. They're lying to you. Somebody is lying to you, making you wait for something that's deceptive. Okay, I don't know what it is. You know what it is, okay? So whatever you're waiting for to collaborate and have love and passion and all, it's lie. It's a lie. It, there's deception here. So I don't know what it is in your situation, but you need to find out what that is um, because, you know, of course I don't know. But that's what's, that, you know, that's what's showing here. And <clears throat> it's not showing good stuff back here either. So if you can avoid the Seven of Swords situation, you can totally turn whatever's back here around. So this doesn't really, whatever's behind this Nine of Wands right here doesn't matter depending on what, how the outcome is. is. Currently, the outcome is headed towards the Seven of Swords. Deception. If you can avoid that and find out what this deception is before it gets to you, then maybe you can turn things around here and you, you will receive that justice, right? Um, possibly you are going to receive it. <clears throat> the justice, you know, after this battle that you've had to go through, you've gone through some sort of battle here. Okay. And you're going to have justice. So let's see what these, um, whispers of love have to say in this situation, right? Whispers of love. Let me get one card for Pisces for the second half of January, 2020. All right. The only thing that is real is love. Right? So maybe shift your focus back to love. So maybe you're in a situation that's loveless. And somebody has made you feel loveless yourself. Maybe you've, you're have you turning into one of those people like, fuck love. You know what I mean? Because maybe you've been hurt and broken in your heart so many times. Well, you know, don't do that. Because it's telling you here the only thing that is real is love. And so if somebody's not treating you with that love, you know what to do with those people, right? Pisces is very loving. We have seven. This is a seven card. This is kind of feeling like it's a direct message from spirit straight to you, right? People aren't loving on you the way you're doing for them. Let them go. You don't need that. You don't deserve that kind of, um, you know, treatment, right? So let's go ahead and find out what Pisces has to surrender for the second half of January 2021. <clears throat> it's for Pisces, second half of January 2021. Right here. All right. Surrender your fear of change. Yeah. 
I know you get into your comfort zone probably, but you know, change is all about, you know, moving forward and expanding and you know, it's good. Change is good. You need to let go of that fear of change. You really do, you know, and you need to start thinking about what's best for you, not what's best for everyone else. You know what I'm saying? Everybody may want you doing this and that for them and being their shoulder to cry on and whatnot. What about you? What about you? What does this say? The universe is, rem and I've never seen this, uh, this card before. It's got a big old paragraph right there. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always, whether you're afraid of change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you feel aging or death fear aging or death repeat the affirmation i have faith that all is well so maybe you're kind of in a negative vibration right now feeling low on yourself down on your luck or something you know have faith that all is well that's what it says there and you can do this i know you can all right so if you're kind of feeling a little down in this time second half of, of january just have faith all is going to be okay, especially if you're a good person, you know, if you're a good person and you're not trying to be mean to anyone or hurt anyone or you know, just you be in you a kind, your kind self, right? You can trust that everything is going to be okay because the universe has your back. The universe always has the back of people like that, you know, <clears throat> for those who mean well and who don't have any kind of ill intentions, you know, so yeah. That's what I have for you, Pisces. You know, if it resonated, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share the video. Also, keep it true love energy. Happy, friendly, and loving types. We have nothing to fear as long as we stay calm and cheerful, right? Yeah. All right. So I'm Mona. This is Kaleidoscope Dreams Tarot, and I will speak to you next time.